Hello everyone, uh, welcome back. I have a haul here from my three favorite stores, Winners, HomeSense, and Marshalls, and they are slowly starting to get more merchandise in. The, the shelves are starting to, uh, you know, fill up a little bit. It's getting better. Uh, so I do have some uh, things, kind of a real wide assortment of things that I purchased from these discount stores um, over probably the past couple of weeks or so. Um, so I will start, oh they, they have a new shopping bag. Now I do collect a lot of these because they have the most beautiful pictures on them. And I use them a lot for my groceries. I fold them up and put them in my purse so I'm not bringing plastic bags home all the time. And this is just an absolutely gorgeous summer evening scene with the uh, sunset and the kayak. It's very, very pretty. So the first thing I got was a juice jug. Uh, we do have one juice jug and uh, we're using it to water plants in the house all the time. So uh, I thought I'd get one official, officially for our, our drinks. And uh, there she is. Uh, so it actually has this iridescent uh, look to it. You can see all the different colors uh, shifting away there. And actually, this is a iced tea that we made. Um, this particular tea has uh, anise, sage, thyme, uh, chamomile, a few other little goodies in here, but um, it's actually quite refreshing. So um, that's what I have. So uh, hopefully this won't be used to water plants anymore with plant food. Uh, we'll just stick with human drinks in there. And then I did have one of these um, a few years ago. It's completely disappeared. I don't know what happened to it. I think Frank accidentally threw it out when he was like um, repainting the house. Um, he thinks I have uh, way too much stuff, so I don't know what happened to it. He denies it. Uh, so anyway, it's one of these beverage dispensers. This one holds 4.73 liters, so it holds quite a bit. They had the most beautiful designs in there. Um, they had ones on wooden stands or like metal stands. They were just really, really pretty. Um, this one was, I think, $14.99. Um, not overly fancy, but it'll do the job. Uh, but yeah, it's got the glass lid and then it's got the little spout for uh, dispensing the liquid. So um, that will hold uh, quite a bit. Oops, sorry, did I hit that? Um, and then for the dogs who like to hang out on the bed and uh, the couch and the chairs and love to go in the woods and get muddy and dirty, um, sometimes you can't just throw the couch and the chairs, etc., into the wash. So I usually use the Lysol spray and it's specifically for fabric and it kills like 99% of germs in that. Um, so I do have some of that, but it's really hard to find, just probably with the virus thing. It always seems to be sold out. So I do have a few cans kicking around. But I did find this um, spray, Odor Eliminator. It's a time-release Odor Eliminator. It's by Wags and Wiggles. And this is in Lively Lemon Lime. And this actually really does smell good. So you can put use this on wood, carpet, fabric, and in the air. And a unique formula combines oxygen with controlled time release scent. And it actually really does smell good. So yeah, you can use this on fabric, um, any hard surface. And it, it really does smell good. I, I sprayed this on the bed the other day after the puppies were on there. And it's supposed to be um, non-toxic too for the dogs. And it really does smell really, really good. And then I did get this, uh, I keep knocking this thing, oh, sorry, uh, by Wags and Wiggles, and this is the uh, carpet powder. And it neutralizes odors and revives the surfaces. It's in fresh strawberries. And it's non-toxic also, so it has oxygenated powder and baking soda, um, permeates into fabrics. Um, now you can use this on uh, upholstery also, like you know, furniture and that, and the carpets. We don't have a lot of carpet. We have mostly throw rugs throughout the house. Um, so I haven't tried this one yet, but it's very faint, the smell. 
Like I can barely even smell it, so it's certainly not overpowering, but um, I like the fact that it has some baking soda in there to kind of absorb the, the odors and that. And then I did get these uh, shoes at, I think it was Winners, and they're from Zara. And uh, they're really, really pretty. They were only $20. And um, yeah, they were so pretty. Now, I did walk around a bit with them. And usually this kind of heel, I can't last for too long wearing these. But these were actually uh, fairly comfy, actually. And they looked really pretty on. And it's, um, it's kind of like these little fake diamonds um, are fairly neutral. So these will just about go with anything there. So, uh, and then I did find some more uh, suntan or uh, I don't know what you call it. Self tanning lotion uh, from Australia at Winners or Marshall's, one of those. And I really do like the Australian brands. I like the, um, the ones that I do get a dry within a few minutes, uh, you just leave them on. I just put them on overnight and then I wake up in the morning and um, my legs are a little bit browner. Uh, my legs are very white and Frank calls me a plucked chicken. And um, I do have a lot of spider veins on my thighs and this just kind of helps cover them up and that. So anyway, um, I do like the sugar baby kind from Australia. It's finally raining. Our drought has ended. Thank goodness. Um, anyway, Sugar Baby is a very good brand, but I haven't been able to find it. I do like the Jergens from the drugstore. I do like that one. And I did find this um, Australian brand. It's called Le Tan, and this is a self-tanning uh, foam. So I have tried this, and I do like the color. It dries within a few minutes. Uh, like I said, I just put it on overnight. You can, If you don't want a really dark tan, you can just wash it off and after an hour or two or whatever. But I just leave it on overnight. Um, and I do like the color. This has Moroccan, um, Moroccan argan oil. So it's somewhat moisturizing. And oh, here, let me... Now, I've had, I have showered a couple of times since I put it on. Um, but it does survive a few showers. And I, it's a little bit lighter than it was when I first put it on. Um, but it doesn't just wash off after one wash, which is good. So, But I really do like the color. So this is the mousse. And then I got the self tanning dry oil. And again, it's uh, it dries very quickly and then you just dress right away and go. And I thought I'd try this one because it has the oil in it. So it might be a little more uh, moisturizing. Uh, so yeah, I like those quick, kind of quick drying ones. And I do like the color. Um, it's not overly orange, it's just more, more natural looking. And I do like makeup brushes, uh, sorry, makeup brush cleansers that you just spray on, then you wipe it on a towel and it's instantly dry. They're very hard to find uh, lately. I did find this one in uh, Winners. It's Live Green Coconut Water Infused um, Makeup Cleanser. And this actually works quite well. I just uh, sprayed it on my brush, wiped it on the towel, and it actually uh, got all the makeup off, even like like the BB creams and that, and uh, it dried instantly. It has a nice coconut scent. I think this was just five dollars, and you get 155 mils. So. Uh, I might grab another one when I go back because these are kind of hard to find for like a good price. And I did get another little drinking cup. Now I do get these. Um, I, I have one for every season. Uh, but this one was a little different from the others. This one actually has a little closure. Mo Whoop. Most of them just have um, the little opening to sip from. But this one actually has a little attachment. So if you accidentally knock it over, which I do all the time, it won't leak on you. And it has just the prettiest design on here. It looks like all these hummingbirds. It, oop, let's focus there. It's just so pretty. Really like that. And then if it's a little bit hot, you can just 
put this little band around it again. And this is made from bamboo, actually. Um, so a sustainable material. I did find this in the clearance section. This is the Clinique Shine in the Game No Not Your T-Zone. Anyway, it's a post-workout mattifying moisturizer. Usually this is about 40 bucks um, retail, probably more. Uh, and I got it for $4 uh, clearance. So I do have dry skin, but in the summertime when it's really hot and sweaty and very humid, uh, I just like kind of my T-zone to be a little bit more matte. Um, uh, so I thought for that price, I might as well give it a try. And then I purchased this Orly base coat and it's supposed to prolong your manicure and it's called a rubberized base coat and it's just supposed to really cling on to that nail polish so it lasts longer. So my, my nail polish never lasts long. Even if I put a top coat on, uh, I don't know, I'm just out gardening and at work and everything, it just gets banged up. So I thought I'd just give this a try anyhow. Now before the stores closed, um, in I think it was Winters or Marshalls, I bought this these eyeshadow palettes and uh, if you do see them because I think I've watched a video I think they're popping up again in the discount stores but I am really impressed with them it's by Cara Beauty and these palettes were only ten dollars each and you get one two three four five six seven twenty eight colors and I think this might be an Australian brand I just can't quite remember uh, so this is what it looks like it has a good size mirror and then look at the colors they're just absolutely gorgeous there's a mix of mattes and shimmers and it kind of reminds me of the color pop formula and I've worn them a f quite a few times and I'm like really impressed like they're really good quality and, and ten dollars for all of these this one has the most gorgeous purple shades in it then um, some of these uh, shimmers have like a, a ear like um, a dual chrome effect that probably won't show up all that great but yeah I'm, I'm like really impressed with them and I just absolutely love the colors I mean you can do so many looks there's just so many colors in here and that is the tropical vibes palette and this is the vacation mood palette and yeah, for $10, I mean, it's really good. And there is the colors for that one. So yeah, I am so impressed with these. Um, try a couple of these green ones here. And I do love colorful palettes now. Here's some kind of a reddish and a pink one. But yeah, I gotta say... I reach for these palettes quite a bit when I'm not quite sure what to do. Uh, there's just so much choice in that. So if you do see these, I, I'm really quite impressed actually. And then, um, now these are totally random. I was in a, the mall across the city, which I don't go to too often, but they have this really neat kitchen store. Um, and every time we go to the beach, we go down south, the towel's always flying away on our chairs. So I finally found these little clips to hold on to the, um, the towels, and I thought that they were really quite cute. And I went back to Lens Mills to get some more um, material for um, work, um, uniforms and scrubs and masks and that. And I picked up a couple more of these, um, our own candle company, Metal Tin, uh, candles. Uh, this one is uh, Sunset Summer Night and again the labels are just absolutely gorgeous. These these ones remind me a lot of the scents from Bath and Body Works. Yeah this is just a fresh musky, um, well, I shouldn't say fresh, it's a very musky floral note in there. Reminds me, I think, Midnight Blooms by Yankee. Yeah, it's just very musky, uh, floral, watery. And then I did get another Smell My Nuts. 
Uh, but this one, I did get in the, their classic jar, but I got it in the tin because I just absolutely love the label with the little squirrels hoarding their little nuts for the winter time there. And yeah, this is banana nut bread. Just oh, so good. Such a good interpretation of that. Um, and then last but not least, uh, just to get some uh, clothing. Okay, my camera went on strike. I forgot about this little guy. Um, I always like to cover my drinks outside because the bugs always land in them. So I got this cute little pineapple, little straw through here, and you just take off the the lid and then put it back on um, so the bugs don't get at it. Uh, I did find this dress. It was only $20 and uh, the quality is really good for that price. Uh, so I, I guess I could have put it on, but anyway, it's cinched in at the waist, um, so it's fitted, but it's not, it, it fits so well, it's not overly snug, just kind of breezes over the body there. Um, uh, but yeah, for $20, and I really like how it looks, how it looks on there. I did find this uh, top, and... I just really like the color and the blue in the uh, in the fabric. It's one that's kind of off the shoulder. I mean, you can wear it up, but it probably look nice off the shoulder. And I just thought it was quite uh, pretty the uh, blue with the uh, white background there. Um, I did get this dress, and. I just really like the green flowers and it's just nice and flowy and loose. I think it goes just below the I think mid, mid cap or so. Um, but it's just, I oh, just thought it was really quite pretty. And uh, just, oh, just a little workout top without the sleeves because I'm sweating to death. And then I got these capris um, which fit really, really nice because they have the nice high waist so you're not getting muffin top. And it's by the company Angels Forever Young. Um, but it has the uh, a nice little stretch to it. It has, it has this little tummy panel in there too. Um, but yeah, it just, it just fits so nicely and no muffin top. And what else did I get here? Oh, I found this at... Um, Marshalls and from a distance I kind of looked at it and I thought oh this is so nice and the clerk said that it was from a, some famous artist or something but the material is so high quality it's just a really nice shirt and I just absolutely love the the nature scene on there uh what else here Oh, this was at H&M. I've been just all over the place making up for lost time, I guess. This was at H&M. Uh, just a very light cotton. Um, I don't know if I can go without a bra on this, though. Uh, I guess if I'm just booting around the house, I will. But I hate wearing bras in this hot, steamy weather. Uh, but um, anyway, <laughs> we'll see. We'll see if I can get away with it or not. Uh... Well, this t-shirt was at, I think, Marshall's, and I really liked the green on this one. And then it had this uh, little silvery kind of pattern in it. I just thought it was uh, really pretty, the green with the, with the silver there. And what else did I get? Um, this is a uh, sweater. Uh, I always like kind of a, a white or off-cream sweater for the summer evenings if it gets a little bit cool. Um, and this one had a really pretty pattern on the sleeves. And at the bottom it has that gauzy material. But it's just so pretty. And it goes with anything, that color. And um, I did get a... Um, uh, where is it? Uh, beach cover-up. Whenever we go back to the beach. Or go down south again. Um, and this one's just long and flowy. It goes down to the ankle. And I just really like the corals and the, and the grays together. Oh, what else, what else, what else? Uh, I think that's it. Oh, just, um, just this pair of pants. Uh, who's it by? 89th and Madison? Uh, it's... 
it's kind of like uh, a stretchy kind of jagging, so it's part pant, part legging. Uh, but it had this uh, very neutral color to it, kind of a very light beige with these tiny, tiny little black dots on it. Um, but it fit nicely. It's like, it doesn't taper down. It just goes straight down, and which is kind of slimming. It doesn't, um, it's got a high waist on it. And I just thought it was a nice pair of pants to go with just basically everything. Um, so anyway, I think that's it. That's enough. Holy moly. But like I said, this is over the past couple of weeks. I just kind of go in there to see if they're um, getting any more things in. Haven't found a lot of candles though. Um, and hopefully that'll come. I just, oh, I got a little scratch in my throat. I knew I brought this up for a reason. Anywho, um, yeah, that's enough. That's what I got. Um, anyway, I'm going to uh, finish my paperwork, then I'm going to make some more masks. My mom wants some more masks, so I'm going to mail some to her after I finish sewing them up. But anyway, um, I hope your uh, discount stores are open and starting to fill up for you. There's a lot of great little goodies in there still. And um, everyone take care, stay safe, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.